Hey there, Facebook folks. What's up, ma'am? Here's a little flyer today. Good morning, Periscope. Good morning, Facebook. So what's one magic word to stunning blogging success? And I know a lot of folks are like, I want to build a successful blog. Ariel, thanks so much for joining. The quick join. Oh, you can see my head a little bit up here. Let me move that up. So you want to relax over the head to be appearing. I'll put this down. Delilah, I'm going to keep you out today. Sorry, kid. Got to focus heavily on the... Uh, I know she's probably barging in. Sorry, Chancy. Gotta keep you out today. I just gotta focus on this. Gotta zero in, man, because we're a little busy today. We got some stuff going on. Princess Spoker. Thanks for joining. And what is this magic, magic word? Everybody wants to know the magic word to stunning blogging success. Service. Carolyn, thanks so much for joining. Great to see you. Service. Good morning, Chris. Service. 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 Serving people helping people. And I'm just thinking about Anne, thanks so much for joining, really appreciate it, on Facebook. And Scopers, thanks so much. Boy, Delilah's going to knock over this 10-pound uh, art crazy. Thanks for joining. What is it? Art? No, oh, okay, I'm sorry. thought it was something different here. So guys, service, 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 help, help, help. But really it's service. Now, I'm thinking about, uh, hey, so true, Carolyn, right? Three quick ebook sales. I'm thinking about how long it used to take me to generate even 10 bucks online, like years ago. It was just such a nightmare. I was making no money, and this is just like boom, boom, boom. 15, 30, 45, you know, 50 bucks right there, basically. I'll say 45 bucks, and that's my, those are three sales on my higher end ebooks, not the 399 jobs, but the $15 jobs. And I'm thinking, like, how does, like, when it was such a struggle to make five or 10 bucks, let alone, you know, 20? Jake, thanks so much for joining. Really appreciate it. Like that 45 bucks, how quickly it flows in, those three ebook sales, like nothing. And I'm like, what was the difference maker? And of course, it was my energy first and foremost, but beyond there, and that's it, Carolyn, service, that's it, so true, that's where it's at, that's where the success is. And I just thought of service, not slaving service, not straining and striving, but generous service. These videos, this is service, this is me devoting a half hour of my day, my real fairy, thanks for joining. And a half hour of my day now, and it's been at least 10 minutes to 15 minutes of my day for months, for the past like two and a half, three months. And now it's a half hour every day for like the past week. And we'll see where it goes from here. Hey, morning. Like that little emoticon. That's what you call them, right? Emoticons. But this is just like regular, this is service, and it's helping, and it's helping. Thanks so much for joining. Really appreciate it. Searless, do I have that right? I hope so. Let me know. Um, and it's just service and service and service, and it's a half hour of my day. You know, I can do whatever I want to do today, right? I mean, I got up, I ran eight miles this morning. I did tw 10 miles the other day. Insane. And it, I haven't been doing that many miles running-wise for a, a while now. Just, you know, three miles, four. You guys know I do my daily bit. But I really bumped it up, but my energy was up. And again, I could do whatever I want. But it's service. It's helping you guys. And I love doing it too, but it's that continual service. It's a half hour I'm devoting to doing the Periscope video and rendering service, sharing with you what's helped me with blogging. So I have fun doing it, and it's it's you know heartfelt. I love this shit. You guys know that by now. But it's service and service, and then you serve more. And then I'm not looking at the videos and saying, what am I getting out of this? Where's my ebook sales? Why didn't anybody say, hey, let me buy your ebook? During the, of course, I drop the calls to action, and of course, buy a blogging from Paradise Ebook. You'll find them on my blog. On my sidebar, I have a couple, but if you click the ebooks tab at the top, you'll see I have 124 on Amazon. So grab a couple today if you love my energy and you want to bring your blogging game up. You want to, to build that successful blog, whether you're a newbie or somebody who's been in the game for a while and struggling with it, or whether you're rocking it out, but you want a different type of perspective, practical tips, all that stuff. So yeah, the call to action, the calls to action are out there, but it's all about service. Keegan, thanks so much for joining. Periscope. Service. Service. Help. Help. Help some more. Help some more. Help some more. Now what if you're a newbie blogger? Learn. Study practice than service. You have to learn the art. The blogging is a skill and you're going to have to learn how to blog and gobble up my videos. I have hundreds of them out there. Gobble up my blog posts, gobble up my books, gobble up my courses. You have to learn this skill and practice and study and study and practice. Then as you're learning, 
you'll start serving others because you'll pip, pick up, and maybe pip it up too, but you'll pick up the knowledge to be able to share with others through your study and diligence. Malik, thanks so much for joining. Really appreciate it. But this is like service, 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 help, help, help. And persistent service is the key. It's the magic word. Service, service, service every day to stunning blogging success. If you want to leave your nine to five job behind, you really don't want to work it and you're in that area where it's like it's something you're just doing to, to manipulate numbers on a screen, put food on the table and a roof over your head, but you really don't want to devote your life to it, that's okay. You know, I've been in that spot. So if you want a more freeing life through blogging, you're going to learn how to blog from folks who are established. And then you're going to live a life of service, and that's what sets up the success. Service sets up success. Let me serve you. Let me help you. And it means helping people for free and for premium. doesn't mean you have to help people for free for five years. No, open up those income streams. You'll be helping people through those streams as well, through those channels. But you'll be helping people for free a lot, and you won't be looking for anything from them. <gasps> oh, my God. You mean to help someone out and not look for anything in return? What about me? Service, 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 service. Good morning, Mana. Hopefully, Mana it works today. I cleared the cache. I shut the Chromebook off. I turned it back on, so we'll see what happens. But hopefully, it should work here. On Periscope, of course. But uh, hopefully, we're good to go. But good morning. Thanks so much for joining. And service, and it's helping people, and it's helping people, and it's more service. And service today, and service tomorrow. And I was up at 11:30 last night writing a guest post for someone. And I love doing it and for their community and, you know, someone on LinkedIn that connected with me and um, serving people today. I'm promoting people and I check my email and I'm going to do interviews. I'll do another a live radio interview on Friday, Mile High Radio. It looks like. It has to be uh, confirmed, but that's going to be awesome. And more service and more service and helping somebody out send me an email. You know, what did he suggest as far as my ebooks? I suggested two of my ebooks. And then the direction with their blog, it's more service, it's more help, it's helping people for free. And then you're opening the income streams as well, but you're going to be helping people for free and not looking to squeeze anything out of them. That's true service. Christoph, thank you so much for joining, I think. Service. It's the magic word. And you just keep, you're learning and you keep serving people. You keep helping people. You go to, uh, say, Elizabeth Kelsey Bradley's blogging boost. I believe that's the tribe on Facebook flat her today and then you help people and they're asking questions and you render service and your help and you make yourself useful make yourself useful and I think that was something interesting too when I was reading a little bit about Arnold Schwarzenegger the other day Mon and Carolyn thanks so much for the likes really appreciate it I think it was through Tim Ferriss it was the intro to one of his books Arnold one of my bodybuilding idols and I did bodybuilding although I'm start, kind of coming back a little bit the guns are coming back in slowly but surely not really pushing it, but you know. It's one of those deals. <coughs> Thanks so much for joining, brother. MD. Where Arnold was talking about one of the secrets to success of his <clears throat> was his father telling him, be useful. And inherently, we're all useful because we have so much, we're brimming with so much talent and energy and love, and you can just spread love through so many different channels. Even if you're developing a skill, you have very few skills, it seems like. But that's one of the most awesome pieces of advice as you can get. Be useful. Help people. Help people. Help people. Service. 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 Because the success, which we often see as worldly success, you know, money, freedom, fame, internet fame, whatever it is, your expanded presence, that all flows to you. All that getting because you gave, you gave, you gave freely. You gave, you gave, you helped, you helped, you helped. Fred, thanks so much for joining, man. It's been a long time. One of my old school Twitter buds. So good to see you. But that service, 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 that giving, 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 and you're not looking for crap in return. Stano, thanks so much for joining. Being useful, being of service, and I'm talking for every day for a period of months and then years and then years and then years and years, but if you're going to be here, you may as well, if you're going to spend years on planet Earth, and we all intend to, and we're enjoying the journey, then freaking spend the time wisely. And I always remember that advice that I'd read from Steve Pavlina, personal development coach and a really energetic guy, and he's made a lot of dough online. And he's always like, if you're going to stick around, if you're going to be doing it, and you're just going to spend time here on Earth, then do the right thing. Don't waste your freaking time. And that means being a 
of service and being generous every day. Help people, help people, help people, help people through these videos. You could turn right around now in a split second and say, F you fears, or, you know, flat out, fuck you, and do a Facebook Live video if you're terrified and talk about this idea that Ryan Bidoff shared with you today. And, of course, you tell people to join his email list and maybe buy an ebook or course when you're there. It's a Jedi mind trick. I'm learning. But the point is, guys, you could turn right around and teach people and be of service to someone. You could write a blog post today. You could share this video on your wall. But that's being of service to people because this is a valuable message. Like, how did this guy become successful? How does he travel all over the world? Why is he going to Central Park West tomorrow for another two-week house sit? And one of our neighbors there, I'm saying our neighbors, it's a house sit, but we've done that sit there before, it's Michael Strahan. You have these beautiful brownstones, 15, 20 million dollar, 10, 15, 20 million dollar brownstones. Beautiful. Central Park West around the corner. You have the Beresford a couple blocks, actually like two blocks over, which is where Seinfeld lives. And around the corner at, at times, I mean, since I, they've probably moved out, but Steven Spielberg, Tiger Woods, go there two weeks for a house sit, living there rent free. But we have the lifestyle where, yeah, that's right, be useful. You like that, Carolyn? I love it too. But we have this lifestyle where Kelly and I have built up the income online in these vehicles where we could just, the drop of the hat, just go and do these house sits. And obviously you need to have mobile sources of income or be retired to do this stuff. And it's so cool to Central Park West, I mean, Celebrity Row. It's like phenomenal. And just, it's a beautiful neighborhood. It's the Upper West Side, you guys know. I mean, it's the most expensive real estate in the face of the earth. We're one block from Museum of Natural History. It's like such a fun, and it's like, how do you live this life? I want that service, service, that people will live there. You know, these people, mega success, service, service, service. Thanks so much joining, for joining, Zahid. And it's just this continual service and this giving and this helping every day. And you're going to open income streams too and give through those channels. And people will send you something called money for the service there, which is cool. It's just a means of exchange. You'll be making money. But then it's service for free. Like after creating this video, I don't get a PayPal payment for doing it. It's service. It's doing what I love. And if you keep rendering that service, it detaches you more from the outcomes, which allows the money to flow in. And so when I talk about those three ebook sales, that's so cool. It's like 50 bucks. And I live very lean, a minimalist life. Base beast. Thanks so much for joining. So it's like, it's cool. And it just keeps coming in. And more money. And cat yesterday with consult. And you just see it coming in. And that's just money aspect. And this is just a worldly. That's such a tiny part of it. It's the freedom of what we do. That's stunning success for me. Somebody was asking me during an interview yesterday. I was doing another uh, podcast interview <clears throat> for a very, very popular podcast. And they were like, what's your biggest achievement? I'm like, that I could drop everything right now and go where the frick I want. That's freedom. We could do whatever we want. Like today, later on, I'll visit uh, KB, visit Papa Bidoff, probably with Kelly, and we'll just spend the afternoon and maybe visit my mom. And it's like, I could just do that at the drop of a hat and then come back and then work later, play work, whatever you want to call it. It's like, how do you have that life where you have the freedom? Service. It's a magic word. Serve, help, serve, help. Help some more people. You love this video? Share it with your friends. Don't even think about it. Well, you know, there's, there might be two or three bloggers. Boom, don't even think about it. Because this will be valuable for them. Because this is how you live the life of your dreams. Or this is how you're opening up that income stream through your blog. Help, help, help. What are ways to serve? Writing a thousand words daily for practice. That's it, Carolyn. Great video. I must go serve patients. Thank you. Good to see and hear you. That's wonderful, Carolyn. God bless you. That is phenomenal. And that's it. This is it. Thank you so much for joining. And it's in so many walks of life, guys. This is blogging success or life success. And Carolyn says, like, going, serving the patients. It's this idea of service and help. And I see that now, too, because my mom is thinking at the end, we'll see what happens. But she's uh, had Alzheimer's for five years. And she's been in hospice for a while now. And it's like, I've seen that from the nurses there. They're so heart-centered and generous at her hospice center. It's phenomenal. You see service. These people who are at the end of their lives while they're in their mortal coil and it's one of the most phenomenal things that I see and uh, well there's one interesting question on Periscope because it has nothing to do with the title but um, I don't really go that way it's, uh, a wife so it's one of those deals guys where um, <clears throat> 
service is the most important aspect of running a successful blog. Service, 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 service. It's what I see in so many aspects of life, because anywhere, when you're serving, 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 helping, you're going to see success, and success flows to you on so many different levels. And for me, it's the freedom. But when I'm talking about the nurses and my mother's hospice, that's you could see the happiness that it gives them the joy. They're happy people, and of course, they're earning a living, but they enjoy the ride more, too. In an environment like that, it could obviously be very, <laughs> it's a very difficult situation. You know, people are at the end of their lives and dying, and you see their, their bodies, you know, broken down but it gives them happiness and I could draw energy off that like when I visit and see my mom and obviously it's it's been a long time and difficult but I've embraced that and I've seen if people could be heartfelt and, and serving in this type of environment and be happy imagine what I could do with blogging and that's so much what not so much but that's and the smart part of it has fueled me to serve more and yeah it's nice to see the success but it's fun but it's service and it's service so creating videos writing a thousand words a day and pr for practice just in a word doc to give you the clarity and confidence to be able to start posting once to maybe twice a week on your blog then writing one or two guest posts a week then commenting on five or ten or fifteen blogs a day after reading the post that serves because you're adding value to a post and comments or content and they'll help other blogs move up on Google also add quote unquote social proof. It's just awesome to have a sense of community on your blog. Every time you're leaving a blog comment, you're rendering service and you're rendering service through videos, through podcasts, through promoting other people, promoting me, retweeting my posts. Oh, what can I do? I have four followers. He's got 51,000. You're rendering service. It's all an energy thing. So if you could just think of like 30 ways today, not that you're going to do all 30, but you could sit in the quiet room after this video or tonight and just say, you know what? or if it is night, then in the morning, or wherever time it is, you know, folks around the world, I know we have people from everywhere. How could I render better service, or how could I render service through my blog, or just blogging-wise? How could I promote people? How can I endorse people? How could I, could I write a post and just say, hey, there's this Ryan guy, if you need help with your blog, give him, a, you know, give him a look. It's rendering service, it's helping, 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 helping. Everybody could always help. But and then if you're a total newbie, you're going to have to learn to help. You're gonna have to practice the help. These are this is a skill. This is like going to college and university and getting a major. And I just put that and Johnny was joking around um about one of my updates, one of my Facebook friends, Johnny, was talking about oh it's funny, BS meteorology. Dennis, thanks so much for joining. Really appreciate it on Periscope. And I put on my core because I just passed woohoo, a hundred thousand views on my update. Carolyn, thanks so much for sharing, really appreciate it. But a hundred thousand views on my answers on Quora. Quora, Quora, New Jersey, Quora. But I put BS in meteorology because I have my bachelor in science from meteor uh, in meteorology. I'm technically, I would say I'm technically, but I'm a meteorologist. I'm a scientist. Sunny out there today. That's a joke because anybody could have done that, and people think that maybe it's a little bit of a junk science. But no, you got to be really smart. And not that I'm smart. I fooled people. I pulled the wool over their eyes to be uh, atmospheric dynamics, thermodynamics, whatever. But I have no idea why I'm talking about meteorology, but the point is, there isn't a point, I totally forgot, so we're just going to go in another direction, but, <laughs> but the thing is, guys, if you're focused on rendering this service and helping 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 in any area of life, but especially with your blog, you're going to be so much more likely to see success more quickly because you'll detach more from the outcomes and you'll be focusing on more and more and more and giving, and then the getting happens easier. But then the getting feels a lot more like extra, like just like icing on the cake, which is really cool, but then it's not so much of a big deal, and then you become more of a servant, and you render more service. Oh, that's what it is. You have to study meteorology. You got to study. You got to learn this. It's like going to university. I went for four, you know, actually six, because I had to stick around for certain meteorology courses to avail themselves, because there's only six majors when I went to um, Kane. But it was like going to university and... For me, I had to study atmospheric dynamics, atmospheric thermodynamics, physical meteorology, which is not like exercising in front of a green screen, like flexing. It's the physics of meteorology. This was difficult stuff. Now, blogging is not as heavy or left-brained, but it's still a skill that you have to study and develop if you've never done it. you got to learn how to connect with people, the art of storytelling, just practice writing, learn how to promote your blog, learn how to connect, learn how to befriend those blogging big dogs and dogettes, those high rollers that will help expand your reach 
you have to learn how to build a list. I probably mentioned that. Create products, create ebooks, and it seems like a ton at the beginning, and intimidating, but you just do it one step at a time. And you learn. And this is part of the game. It's blogging is going to school. It's going to university. And you'll get your PhD by living the life of a player by studying and practicing and studying and taking notes and practicing and subscribing and buying products and buying products and buying products and studying products and buying blogging products, products buying blogging products, buying ebooks, buying ebooks, hiring someone who's a blog consultant, who's a coach. Because you're going to be like, where the frick do I even start? But then when you talk to me, I say, here's where you start. And we have an hour. Or you do the eight-week, which I'm really excited about, my eight-week consulting program, where over the course of eight weeks, you talk to me for an hour, and then you have unlimited email support, which is really cool to have unlimited email support. Exactly, Chris. Everything requires learning skills and then practicing again and again. That's like everything in life, and blogging's the same way. But the point is, guys, when you really, really dive into this and learn and learn. Mandy, thanks so much for sharing the video. Mandy Van Zillen, one other, just shared your video. Let them know you appreciate it. I always do. Thanks, Facebook. That's a good cue. And it's so true, right? So I do appreciate it. But then as you're learning this skill, then you're going to start serving others. You learn today that this Ryan Bidoff guy who's lived a very boring life where he lives like in Fiji for four months at a time and Bali for a year, Thailand for two years, and he's you know, stuck by ladyboy prostitutes or in Bangkok or attacked by Wildman in Kathmandu, Nepal, or he's walking around the Pearl, wealthiest country in the world with you know, $200 million yacht over his shoulder, and Doha Qatar, Qatar, trying to say it like in Arabic. You know, just the life I live, it's like, so he says service is a magic word to stunning blogging success. So you'll turn around and write about that, or you'll create a video, or you share my video, or you'll write a guest post on this idea, this aspect, and you'll think about how have I served. Well, I haven't really done much serving. I'm just trying to learn, and I'm scared. I'm scared to put myself out there. I'm going to put myself out there today because he says, too, one of the things that you really have to break through with service is realizing that you have something valuable to share with the world. And a lot of people in the beginning, as bloggers, or if they're new or if they're struggling, they're like, wow, I can't, sir. I'm just afraid to share. I can't do videos, and I can't write posts. And I mean, it's scary. It's really scary. Part of being a servant is cutting through the scariness. And you got to do it. And I had to do it. Put more gel in my hair. Like years ago, when I was sitting there and almost in tears after writing 300 words a day, and I'd run into writer's block, and I can't serve anybody. I can't even write. And then I was writing 15,000 to 20,000 words a day when I was writing my ebooks. 20,000 words a day. That's a lot of words. And I was also networking. But you have to keep diving into those fears because that's what servants do. Because we're all afraid in the beginning. And we're it's, it's excited and inspired, and maybe we're expired or incited. Because that's what I was going to do. Music Lover 1989. Thanks for joining. Really appreciate it. To be happy, humans need to be providing value to help others. That's it, Chris. And Chris says it on Periscope. That's that's real happiness. It's it's really good. It feels really fun. Admire Itty. Thanks so much for joining. To receive stuff, to live this lifestyle. It's really fun to experience that stunning blogging success, whatever it is for you, the freedom. That's what so much of it is. But the linchpin is that the happiness is in giving. You learn, you give, you give, you help. Uh-oh, Facebook's slowing down. Maybe I'll shut it down in a minute or two because it's been pretty good until now. So, guys, actually, we will. I'm going to roll because it's 10 o'clock, and I have a few more hours until I'm going to head out and see the folks. Um, be of service. That's really a call to action. How can you – it's the magic word. How can you serve people today, <clears throat> blogging-wise, and really life-wise, but especially blogging-wise? Uh, call to action. Go to bloggingparadise.com. Make sure you pick up my latest ebook, 15 Ways to Make Money Online. You'll see it if you click on my blog link and scroll down. you see the blog post. Make sure you buy it there. VTech, thanks so much for joining. And then also join my email list. It's growing really quickly now. It's so cool. Yesterday I sent out an email. I'm like, wow, that's a lot of folks i have been joining, which is awesome. And joining my list, you'll get these awesome blogging tips to help you build a successful blog. It's exciting when you see the traffic and the profits coming in and, and the comments, wherever stage you're at in your career. And that's what I help you do through my ebooks. You know, grab a few on Amazon or the blogging from Paradise Umbrella. Through my courses, which are really inspired and my flagship course, I'm so humbled by it. Top internet marketing earner, you know, 10, 20, 30, or $30,000 a month. He swears by it. So that's, um, that was a very humbling thing for me. It's a blogging audio course, the fundamentals, the 11 fundamentals of successful blogging, plus 10 questions asked. 
answered. Beginner questions by an island hopping pro blogger, which is me. So I toss in a bonus audio course. So that's available on my blog as well, bloggingfromparadise.com. That's it for today, guys. Going to roll. Until next time, Mandy, Carolyn, Zahid, Fred, MD, Mana, everybody, thanks so much for joining. Chris on Periscope and all the other, all these other awesome scopers. Until next time, you know what to do. Enjoy your day. Ta-ta Facebook. And enjoy paradise.